Welcome to Monday's Learn with Beauty Slash where in this tutorial I will show you how I fill in the hair strokes for specific clients, what patterns do I choose and how to do so. I know it's a bit a late Monday uh, and it's because I was working on the online photo editing course and I wish to finish it as soon as possible so please excuse me for a little bit delay. And as always, for those who are new to my channel, I post weekly tutorials about microblading, shading, and hair strokes with machine procedures. So if you're interested, consider subscribing. Okay, so this is our first client, our first model. So the first thing that we do, I usually define where is the start of my brows. So I usually draw with my, that's a bit too thick. I usually draw with my thread the points uh, the beginning of her eyes in this case the other eye is a bit far so i will not draw the line then the middle between those lines and other lines so this is the middle and then the middle between these lines so my start of the brow will be in this range and it will be very very close to this line this is just a good practice for you to see where the actual start of the brow is and this is where it is where this is where it will be now my tail will end up here and my arch will be if she would open her eyes it will be at the edge of her eye but now I see her natural arch is here, so just to be safe, I usually push it to the side a bit more from her natural arch, even like this. Okay, so this is our arch point here. This is our lower point here, and this is our tail. Now let's define where will be, so these additional lines I remove. Now the question is, where in this part her hair strokes will appear so obviously because she already has her natural hairs like this it will be the continue so these two points will be our starting point and now look these dots they are going upward a little bit and then when we are reaching the tail they will go down a bit but they will never and it's usually just a good practice. They will never um, be lower than the beginning of the eye. So they will never go lower than the beginning of the eye. Somewhere here would be nice. So either the straight line or higher than the beginning, the beginning point of the eye. So let's do somewhere in here. So these will slowly come to here. And then for the upper part, we try to make it parallel to the lower part. And then coming down. So I usually, I will use uh, my pattern. You can follow along with me. And now let's see the flow of the hair. So the flow of the hair, if you look closely, it follows this direction. This is something we will keep uh, in mind. So let's fill the beginning of the eye. Now let's fill the lower part. So the last stroke should reach this point with uh, specifically this pattern. Now the upper part. So you see my upper strokes are kind of following the direction of the hair. Now let's let me fill this part first and then I will fill the beginning and let's see. Thank you. 
Now I want to show you one mistake that I did with uh, with this brow. So if you look at this shape, this the lower part should be a nice curve. So actually it should be this curve. But if you see this part, it's actually a little bit bending to this side. So what we will do is to fix this. like this and then the other mistake I can tell you is for this part it looks a bit like this like this usually it's better if it will be a bit slightly lower so we can make these we can adjust them so it is a nice curve Okay, so this is how it looks. Of course, she has some hair underneath, but she would have to shave it off as uh, it a bit it is a bit too low for her. Now let's see another example and another model, and there you can see more clearly the microblading pattern that I do, and you can uh, memorize it. So for this model, we will choose the pattern with the strokes going down as well as her tail and uh, natural hairs are going down. So remember the lower part should be a nice, uh, a nice semicircle. It should not be this way, it should be a really a nice semicircle. So if I can see nicely that we have to reach to this point and then this point can't be uh, lower than the beginning of the eye. It can't be lower. It can be, it can be the same or higher. I like to do a little bit higher because I think this will make the eyes bigger and just will lift uh, the look. It will just look brighter. So I tend to just go slightly higher so this point is slightly higher than the beginning of the eye and then with this one we will nicely reach this point for this one we have to reach from here to this point and we follow it sh should be somewhere parallel to the lower part so we follow this and then we go go down by the way guys in my description you can download those two models pictures and you can actually if you have the ipad you can try yourself to fill in the strokes and you can send me uh, your results on instagram beauty slash or learn beauty slash so i can see those hairs they go down in this direction so I will keep it in mind. And then how do we fill the front of the brow? The front, I will show you just the easiest microblading pattern, which you can, uh, you can, I use it on all my clients. Sometimes I use complicated, sometimes I use simple. Just depends on my <laughs> mood. Now, please note here she has so much eyebrows. I will not touch this part because she already have the brows here. I will just, I will pause in here. If in case she wouldn't have the brows here, I will just fill, continue filling the strokes in this direction. By the way, guys, comment below if you do have the iPad. Comment, yes, I have the iPad. And whether you want me to record another tutorial for how to use the Procreate application. So just right now I had used Procreate application. 
and if you don't know how to use it i could record another tutorial about this so just let me know in the comment another thing the second thing if you do want me to record a video editing your uh, pictures filling the strokes for your client pictures submit the pictures to my instagram so it is beauty slash or learn beauty slash both are okay submit your pictures but they have to be a good quality so either you take the pictures on your camera or make sure when you're taking pictures on your cell phone it's in a good quality with a good lighting so i can clearly see uh, the hair strokes you can take the side picture or the front picture both are okay and maybe we can create a webinar where i will review your pictures and i will fill uh, your clients browse with my different patterns and we can follow alone i hope you like this tutorial guys let me know if anything i did was not clear to you just comment below and let me improve and uh, as always, you can leave your requests under this video for next tutorials. And I will see you next Mondays on Mondays Learn with Beauty Slash.